Hello, hello, everybody. How are y'all doing? Stacy, and I'm doing great. I'm just uh, finished dinner, and ooh, that's not good. Look at that. <laughs> Whoops. That's been sitting there uh, a little bit, I think. Um, and I just finished dinner, some pizza, and um, I knew this paint was sitting out, and uh, I knew I was running uh, short on time to use it if I was going to use it, so I decided I better use it because um, I, I, sometimes I'll just put like a plastic bag over it or something if it's going to be sitting out like that, but I got lazy and didn't feel like doing that, and then I kind of forgot about it. And, um, so I figure I better go ahead and, um, use it while I can. Um, that's about, uh, oh, let me get out of that. Okay, so it's still slanted a little bit, I think, to the left over here, because it's moving, still moving that direction just a little bit. Um, let me get my little spinner thing up here. Isn't it funny how um, you get pretty colors on your spinner thing? Look at that. I get some really pretty colors on my spinner. I can't do nothing with them, but it's still kind of cool. Okay, why is my spinner not spinning? Let's see. What's going on here? It's stuck up somewhere. There we go. That's better. Um. That's what I mean. That's what I'm wanting right there. Okay, I still have not done the traditional art paintings that I was supposed to be working on. I uh, started on fixing the one that I needed to fix, but I have not made great progress in that department. And so, and I really felt like pouring something. So I decided to do this in the meantime. And, um, I may just have to get to that tomorrow. I just have not been in the right mood. And you know, I have a different mood for paint pouring as for traditional paint, as for stained glass. It all has its own mood. And if I'm in the wrong mood to do it, I really shouldn't try to force myself because nothing good comes out of that. You know, I mean, when you're not in the mood to create in a certain way, um, you really shouldn't try to make yourself because um, I've wasted a lot of supplies trying to make myself do something that I'm not really in the mood to do. And so, anyway, that's some burnt umber there. And um, this is obviously Master Such Black. And then um, this is Copper. I'm going for a certain, this will all become clear in a minute, I'm going for a certain um, kind of a look. It's not just an earth tone pour. I got um, a, special, a special color I want to put with it. Um, I'm saving a little bit of that for dribbles if I want to dribble some more. And um, let's see, let's do the... Hmm. I'm gonna put a little bit of black dribbles right here. I know I just finished with black, but I want something to break this up a little bit. Okay, black dribbles are in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the special color in now. Some of it anyway. It's uh, it's like a powder pink, but it's also got some uh, deco art coral mixed in, so it's got some metallic to it. And um, I had something I did one time that had this combination. This is bronze, um, but that bronze there almost looks like a um, it almost looks like a rose gold to me really 
Um, anyway, I don't remember what it was that I did, but it was something that, um, more copper, something that had these colors, um, the earth tones and that pink, and, um, I just remembered how pretty that was, and, um, I'd always thought about redoing it again, you know, some way, and, uh, then I remembered I had this leftover paint, um, leftover, um, paint, so, um, I decided that I ought to do this. Lots of gold, because I love gold. Very thick gold, because I didn't really thin any of this out very much. I thinned the, um, the burnt umber, because it was a from a can, and that stuff's real thick. Um, it was real thick. Dang it, what is biting me? I feel like something's biting me. Could be a skeeter. Could be nothing at all. I don't know. Yeah, okay. I'll just get this sorted a little bit more even now. And... Uh, I'll put the last of the dribbles of the bronze on there. That's a pretty color in it of itself, this bronze is. Um, but it really does look like rose gold to me. That is very pretty. Alright, we got some pink dribbles left. Yeah, we got lots of pink dribbles. Alrighty. Cool. Now then, I swear I feel like something's biting me in here. Is there a mosquito down there? Um, here's the cell activator, and this one is um, not quite as thick as I'd like it to be, but it's um, because it's about um, uh, two and a half parts. Flow trawl to one and a half, um, one and a half of, um, mm, Amsterdam white. I can't think of it. All right, um, we're ready to blow this out. And I was going to blow this one with my mouth to start and then use the hair dryer, but I just don't know. I don't really feel like blowing right now. Um, I think I'll just, uh, Go with the hair this time. Okay. Alright. Let's just go for it. I think I'm going to take this end off. And I think I am anyway. It doesn't really want to come off. Alright. No. That button must not be pushed right. There we go. That's all I'm gonna do to it. I'm gonna let it come back into place and I'm gonna spin it. I'm I didn't blow it out a whole bunch this time. I'm kind of trying a little something different. <sighs> trying to see what it does if you don't blow it out very much. If you just let it kind of do its own thing, you know. As far as making... Um, I'm thinking that the lacing and stuff might be better if it makes it just by the spinning action. As opposed to my blowing it. That looks really pretty the way that's doing though. I'm hoping that it'll... It'll lace across like that. The lace is important on this one. The pink and the lace, you know what I mean? I was wanting to get a whole effect going there with that, but we'll see what happens. Uh, it's pretty. It's going to be pretty, I think. Um, I'd like to be able to... I wish it was better centered. I didn't do too good with that. There's a whole lot of paint's going to pour off that side over there. Oh, well. Hmm.
We'll see how it goes. I'm just going to give it just a second more to pull back up in there. It's pretty close to being there, but I don't like to rush this step because I used to rush it all the time and it really screwed things up. That's pretty in here. If it blows out like that, that'll be really pretty. And I could have just gone on and blown it out with the hairdryer, but I've been liking what the spinning does as far as the lacing. It seems like it makes the lacing more throughout, like um, across the whole thing. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> interesting. All right, let's go again. I'm trying to spin it harder, but it's kind of scary when there's something on there spinning that thing because it has a mind of its own completely. Um, you know, I, I think I'm going to spin it one more time. Let's see. There. Okay, it's clear. It'll spin. That doesn't count. That wasn't good enough. I kind of like that out there that way. It's kind of cool. I may just leave it that way. What in the world? Look, that is the biggest bunch of goop I have ever seen. Look at that. What in the hell? <laughs> I wiped that canvas off with a wet rag. I did. That must have flown in there somehow. I don't even know what that was, but that was huge. And it was not there to start out with. I know it wasn't because I wiped that canvas off with a, a wet rag. Because I knew it had been outside. I'm going to leave that just like that. That really looks like a flower. Um, It may not when I get done tilting it, but it really does right now. I hope I can keep it that way. I'm going to try to... um. Just fill in this um, space down here. I can do it without um, damaging the integrity of the way that looks. I will. Because it's really cool. And I want to keep that up there at the top. I'd like to. Okay, I didn't want that white to get poured off. I wanted um, to save that. Well, you know what I may do is just let that come on down and let it be half the flower. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm going to just let it come on down and turn it around and see. Let's just let that come on down and be the center of the flower. It doesn't have as much lacing as I hoped it did, would, but um, it's still pretty. I don't want all the stupid looking little bumps are everywhere. Those air bubbles or what. But I like that. That's interesting. Let me just get a little bit more pulled down. Okay, I'm going to leave it just like that. This is really beautiful, what happened over here on the sides where it didn't thoroughly mix. I'd like to have a whole painting that looks like that. Hmm. <laughs> Different. I like it. Alright, um, let me get my hands wiped off and I'll pull y'all down. I didn't even wear any gloves that time. I forgot yeah, I like that. That's different. It's um, kind of pretty. I feel like I need to torch it, though, if these are air bubbles, because, yeah, and they are. But, you know, the air bubbles um, haven't been causing me a problem on these. Um, 
but I had never seen them that many that big. <sighs> well, I really don't like them. Um, and there's really more of them than um, I usually see. The Craft Neat makes a bunch of bubbles, but they usually pop before this point. Um, what to do? Well, this is certainly not the best option. Um, well, I don't know whether to pop them with my, with the heat or just leave them alone. I hate for them to pop later and mess everything up like this up here did when that one popped. I mean, it didn't exactly mess everything up, but it makes a little hole. I don't like it, but I don't know. I don't really want to torch it because when I'm torched, uh, okay, the whole torching debacle, I used to torch mine. Here, have a look at these, and I'll tell you the story. I used to torch mine all the time, and I never had a bad result from it. And then... All of a sudden, one time I did it, and I got these little pin pricks everywhere. And uh, the only thing I could attribute to was torching, so I quit doing it. Um, that's really interesting. Um, anyway, uh, I quit doing it, and I haven't done it since. And if ever I was going to, I'd do it on this one, because there's air bubbles all over the place. Um, I'm just afraid of the pinpricks because they were awful. I mean, they bothered me. When I say that, they bothered me. Um, I don't know if they would bother anybody else, but they were little bitty tiny holes everywhere. And that's beautiful on that side over there. I wish the whole piece looked like that. I'm going to do another a pour with these colors. See what it turns out like. I wish the that it had been a little more evened out. I had some. I wish I had some more black on that left side over there. But it's interesting. Um, it's different. I like it. At least for for now. Anything can be on my chopping block for tomorrow because I'm real picky about stuff. But um, I think that's pretty. Anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think. I don't want to think about what I think. I want to think about what y'all think. So y'all let me know. Y'all have a wonderful night. Um. I'll probably do another video tonight because I don't feel like traditionally painting. I mean, I might, but I may just do another one of these videos instead. So, y'all have a wonderful night. And, um, see how it's really pretty lacing in there. Um, join me later on because you know I'll be here. See you later.